chaos because the they're all staying home because it, Southwest isn't going anywhere. They canceled another 2,300 flights overnight, which basically we, we knew this was right. coming. So Through I think the, there's what three flights Southwest is sending out. Ed, so if you have one of those flights, today's cake, right? I mean, you walk in and <laughs> you, you you got no lines if you're on one of those flights. Absolutely, and if you if you watched our six o'clock version, you know that uh, there is no chaos. Uh, I, I, one uh, publication said yesterday that chaos was manageable. There's no reason to manage it today uh, because there are, is no line. Uh, the literally six people at the counter at Southwest uh, when we were over there, which is why we are over here in this common area for a gift shop and a local restaurant. It has been turned into, yes, this is the new baggage claim. Uh, take a look. Presumably, Southwest Airlines has six million accountants, we said facetiously, working on how they're going to refund all this money uh, at the direction of the U.S. Department of Transportation, tickets, rental cars, hotels. So we got all, we're trying to figure out all the, uh, how are we going to come up with all this money for everybody? Well, how in the world, maybe there's three or four people working on the bags, because the bags are another issue, as we've also mentioned. Uh, throughout this uh, just uh, unmanageable uh, uh, crisis, if you will. So uh, this is the tip of the iceberg uh, in terms of airports around the country. You ought to see LAX because a lot of flights were rerouted there. And uh, LAX is uh, tenfold of this. This is a common area, so obviously there are bags elsewhere. But they're all unclaimed so far. Now, the reason we are over here is because, as we said at the beginning, and as we showed you at 6 o'clock, there is no line at the Southwest ticket counter. There were all of six people over there uh, just a minute ago. Because, and we talked about this yesterday, that the chaos yesterday was manageable, finally. Because Southwest, realizing that they could not get a handle on this cascading landslide, earlier in the week said, Two-thirds of our schedule is canceled. Don't even think about coming to the airport. We are not going to fly two-thirds of our flight. So yesterday, people who had a good expectation of getting out were showing up. This morning, uh, what? as I said, there's a, there were six people over at the counter. So flights getting out this morning are Austin, Las Vegas, Dallas, and Honolulu. Talking about all of this, and uh, boy, oh boy, are we sorry, is the uh, Southwest customer service guy. His name is Ryan Greer, and we follow him with a beleaguered traveler. You can submit a full refund request for any canceled flights, and if you have any travel expenses due to the disruption, you can submit those receipts directly on our website. My personal apology is the first step of making things right after many plans changed and experiences fell short of your expectations of us. We're continuing the work to make this up to you. Roughly, how much have you been spending? Um, at least a thousand dollars at this point. What have you been like trying to get a hotel and a rental car? Um, well, we were able to get a hotel, but we had to keep calling to get extra nights so that we could stay. The rental car was a little bit of a fiasco for us because they didn't have the right size. We have a developmentally disabled child, and she needs extra space in the car, so we had trouble getting the right car. Yeah, there's another issue. It's just the lack of rental cars simply because... You've got thousands and thousands of people and the lines all over the country are snaking around and outside our rental car agencies as well. Uh, we talked to one couple coming down from LAX there. They had been rerouted. They couldn't get a rental car despite standing in line for several hours. So they finally hired a town car. So there's that expense. So Southwest, the refunds, the hotels, uh, tickets, obviously, and the rental cars. Uh, <laughs> There are going to be more than a few people trying to figure out how we're going to pay for all this, but how are we going to get these bags rerouted as well? Again, no controlled chaos today. I've never seen Terminal 1 this deserted. A few flights are getting out, but everybody knew that last night and or this morning, and that's the only reason they're here. Austin, Dallas, Las Vegas, and uh, Honolulu. So good for the Honolulu folks who have planned these trips, you know, or this trip. Uh, months and months ago. We are live at a virtually deserted Terminal 1. Back to you guys. Wow. I, I just think of every single 
person and family that's attached to yeah, one of Yeah, there's a story attached bags. to every bag. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so... Oh, some of the overshot. Did you see some of the social media pictures yesterday? Oh, jeez. All right, Ed, we'll get back to you in just a bit. Oh, for right now. That's 